a new program in Anne Arundel County School, and the goal is to create a barrier-free learning environment. Today, Superintendent Dr. Mark Bedell announced hashtag Be Present, and this initiative involves community members volunteering to spend time at schools to improve relationships overall. The superintendent said he created something similar during his time working in schools in Houston. Alumni and parents would head to a school either on a lunch break in the morning to greet students or to say goodbye as they left for the day. To be clear, our volunteers won't be asked to do security or discipline. We just want them to be present. We want to build relationships. We want to form bonds. Just be here and it's okay. Crack some jokes, shake some hands, check on people. Now at the same time, the superintendent did release some new data that he called concerning. Look at these numbers. The number of students referred for a serious incident sits at 2,155, and that's so far for this school year. And that includes fights, attacks, threats, or unsafe actions. Last year, the total number was 2,815. And when it comes to the number of students referred for a weapons violation, the superintendent said this year is on pace to double last year. So far, the number, as you see, is 119. There were 122 total referrals during the last school year. To stress the importance of this new initiative, the superintendent was backed by several local leaders. We need your help. What is more, our students need to know that the adults in their community care about them and stand ready to support them, and not just when things go wrong. Knowing that the community will literally be in the hallways of our schools, to me, is a no-brainer, long time coming, and I have great, um, great, great belief that this will actually do some, make some progress and our kids will feel good about it and safer. The superintendent said the program will begin later this month and it will include background checks and thorough training for the selected volunteers. In the newsroom, Deborah Wiener, WBAL TV 11 News.